Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3. We just truly lost this engine mad. This looks hazardous. Ah, I see one. Pew, pew, pew. The light is still my position, my position without actually doing anything useful. Wait, wait, folks! I almost killed you. Don't want that. Shoot him in the head! Seriously. Okay, no shooting him in the head. Can't he? Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Shoot there. Apparently, we get a sprint now, so we can continue on killing everyone. Excellent! I do love our, our little disintegrator. So cute. Uh, get the microfusion cells. I may need to resort to going back to the plasma rifle once my ammo runs out because there really isn't much of a source for it. Though I do have 2000 of it. And it is able to kill most things with one hit, so odds oh, are I never need to replace this weapon. Uh, there is the chance, well, there is the fact that I will eventually run out of. Uh... Wait, I crippled your head, but that's no damage. What? Wow, that must have been a very talented shot, not a good one, but certainly talented. Okay, uh, let's go to the rotunda. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Give me that bottom you lost. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. <sighs> Raven Rock is gone, Eden checked out. You've got nothing left. You're in over your head. And no amount of talking is going to get you out of it. Once you're dead, We'll finish off this pathetic brotherhood and become the true saviors of the wasteland. This ends now. Fine, do it your way. Well, his way wasn't particularly effective for him. But to be fair, I did bring equipment from space. I don't even know why I'm not using Vats. Vats is just, you know, able to get rid of everything and everyone. Well, that takes care of that. By now, the Pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Uh, Let's get this room secured. I you think there's someone on your team that actually survived the nukes? Because it, it certainly didn't look like it. Dr. Lee, Dr. it's Sarah Lyons. I'm the in the control fire. room. We're both here. What's Come going on? Here, I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now! If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? Uh, Fox can start the purifier. He's immune to radiation. If that's how you want to do this, fine. 
but be quick about it. Right? Mm. This is a dire predicament. What shall we do? I needed to start the purifier. The goat is two one six. Ah, of course. My immunity to radiation makes me a far better candidate for surviving in there. I would say that your destiny lies within that chamber, but you have already altered mine. The least I can do is return the favor, cycle the airlock, and we'll put an end to this. All right, how do you cycle the airlock? Uh, this button? Yeah. Take care, folks. I'm trusting you with this and I'm going to die from radiation anyway. Because I stood in the wrong spot. I stood in the wrong spot, Fox. I stood in the wrong box. If you're still Stop there, spot. The purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. Fox? You do it, Fox. I think he succeeded. Damn bright there. Sheesh. I wish I had brought shades. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place. It was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example, instead allowing a true hero to venture into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. This isn't the end. We have DLC. Careful now, careful. 
Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine. You're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Miss Sarah, is she okay? Oh, yes, yes. She's fine. Or oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. What happened? How did you get here? Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Did it work? Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the Wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Did we win? Did we beat the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. How long was I out? Just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. So what happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I am going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. But the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. What more did you want to know? Um, actually, I've asked everything. So be it. So be it. So what's going on with the Purifier? The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. Okay, I'm just... Please a... be careful. I would hate to lose you again. You didn't lose me, I was just temporarily incapacitated. With... Yeah, that. Um, hmm. Where do I put these points? Wait, it's actually... If I take it up to 60... I don't have 5 points for this. 5 points for this. And 5 points for this, so that works out fine. And then... Anything new here? Not really. And let's go and try the ninja perk. That would be fun. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I'm not Aqua Pure? Hello, Sobons. Good to see you. I have to go now. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. Well have fun on the rack. I patiently await your word. Alright. Oh, I had hoped you'd return. What now? Um I wanted to talk to you about something. Yes. Best to formulate a plan. What is it? 
Uh, okay, actually, let's go. And I shall follow. Good. For a moment there, I was worried that he'd actually want me to be good, but you know, I'm hero for hire. Money, money, money. That's my loyalty. He got ink on my cheek. What do we got up here? Hello, blooding plate. Good to see you in one piece, partner. What can I do for you? Uh, so any thoughts on the enclave? We've held out pretty well. If we keep them on the defensive and can keep pressing them, we've got a good shot at winning this fight. Things are looking a hell of a lot better than they were a few weeks ago. Get to share anything about the super mutants? Man, nothing dies like an ugly. I once saw Colvin snipe the leg off one at 200 yards. Thing pirouetted like a figure skater. <laughs> What can you tell me about the Lion's Pride? You, my friend, are talking about the most elite fighting force ever assembled within the Brotherhood of Steel. Each of us was handpicked by Sentinel Lions herself. You can't even realize what an honor that is. Sarah defines combat excellence. For a moment, I thought all of you died. Just Vagristan or Vargas or whichever. So, what's your job in the Lion's Pride? Me? Heavy weapons, miniguns, missile launchers. If it's bigger than a human and goes boom, I'm all over it. <laughs> I like you, dude. See ya. Steel be with you. Can I talk to you for a moment? What's on your body? I've overheard. Squire Maxim. Well, but do you think we can keep the pressure on them? Let's put it I this think way. I should leave this place now. Night Captain Coleman. You have war safe. I like your home, it's very homely. Especially the empty picture frames. Can't you find a piece of paper and have a scribe scribble something? Surely it's better than an empty frame. Ooh, you. That's a sm small scotch book. Uh, does that put Pura everywhere? Is that just the new water now? Is all water replaced with Akibura? Oh, this does look very nice. This fox. See, fox? The Brotherhood is at your service. I guess you have not. Um, hey, hi. Good to see you. That's only when I really to speak to me, right? Okay. Hi. Hi. No one? Hello. Hail. Hail. I don't really feel like talking to Jameson right now. I don't Hail. really have anything new for her. Someone just stole Welcome. her voice. But I didn't come in. Everything's above board. Uh, good to know. Hail. Hail. Hmm. This looks nice enough. That was ages ago. Let's see. Right, uh, I wanted to go and find those books. Based on survival guide. We're going to the library. I have some books to borrow. Um, let's the exit. Can't be that way, can it? It might be. I don't remember. Hail. Hail. For some reason, I thought it was. Did they just hear a nuke? And they still have this graphical issue. Uh, let it be. Maybe if I play from this camera angle, that won't be a problem. Where's Fox? Fine, I can find some books without him. Yeah. I still prefer playing from this position. It's... Why am I glowing? Maybe if I went for a dip in the clean water. Okay, you're all, you're all good. Good. Maybe if I went for a dip in the water, I may be able to wash off this... Stuff. No. I'm very curious though 
As to why it's still radioactive, I thought we peeled everything. Purified. Even. Brewing is a word. It's a verb. Honest. Hey. Hey there. I should probably be more careful, but this is Brotherhood territory, it should be secure. People's Republic of America radio station. I didn't know there was such a thing. I quite a few radio stations I have never listened to because, well, I really haven't listened to radio stations. Okay, that's super mutant overload and the centaur. I should probably see what I can do about killing them. That looks like it will be very valuable, but it didn't do anything at all. Ah, damn centaur. That one was not much better. Give me my sprint back. Thank you. No. How radioactive am I anyway? Uh, status. But well, I'm certainly hurt real bad. Radiation. Uh, almost none because of the whole being a comatose thing. I guess they took good care of me. They completely purified me from radiation, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna charge them. I just hope they didn't touch anything, you know, private. I don't want them to touch my dick, is what I'm saying. Yeah. No, the center had nothing. You died very oddly. Let me see. I didn't even know that hunting rifles were still a thing. But apparently they are. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. It is not my place to criticize Elder Lions. All I will say to an outsider is that he is not a traditionalist. That is all. I am a knight of the Brotherhood. Why are you so rude? I have to go now. Still be with you. So rude. Hi. Certainly. See, even he recognizes me.